In this video, I'm going to show you guys eight critical steps that you should be following when you're editing your videos for any platform, YouTube, Instagram, it doesn't matter, even TikTok. Okay, step number one, you wanna make sure that you create a brand new project. You make sure you're not working with an old project, so you go to file and then new and then new projects. Make sure you're choosing the dimensions of whatever video or whatever platform you're going to be you know, making a video for. So if you're going to be making a video for IGTV, then you want to choose something at you know, 1080, 1920. If you're going to be making a video for YouTube, then it's the reverse, 1920 by 1080. For a square post, you know, a square video, you'd want 1080 by 1080. So make sure you're choosing the right dimensions, create a new project and create the project based on that dimension. Step number two, you want to make sure you import every clip that you shot. Every clip you're going to be working with, every clip you're going to be cutting, anything. It doesn't matter how small or large it is. Import everything all at once. You gotta make sure you're creating a proxy media version of it. Because if you create a proxy media version of it, then you know you have a smaller version of you know your file to edit instead of having gigabytes of files, especially if you don't have you know as much memory on your computer to edit. So if your computer is slow and lagging while you're editing, you're losing video frame rates, then you might want to try that option. If you want to know more about that stuff, let me know down in the comments section and I will make a video on you know editing proxy media. Basically, it's 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 a little tricky for some people, but it's not that serious. It's an easy concept to understand. You also want to import all audio clips, you know, if you're gonna be using music, if you got end screens, it doesn't matter. Anything, images, pictures, just import everything off at the start. For step number three, you want to drag everything you're going to be working with into the timeline. You know, there's short keys or shortcut keys you can use for this. You know, I for inserting the end point of a clip and O for inserting the out point of a clip. If you want to know more about that stuff, also let me know down in the comment section. There's a lot to you know understand about this kind of stuff. Basically, you want to drag everything you're gonna be working with into the timeline. Everything. Just make sure you get them all in there, drag them there, and then we work from there. Number four, for this one, this is a very crucial part. This is very important. A lot of creators hate this part of you know editing a video because you have to be really brutal with it. So you have to trim off all extraneous clips. So everything that you don't want, everything that you think viewers might not need or might not have time to watch. View time is a very important thing when it comes to any social media platform, you know, engagement time, you gotta be able to hold the attention of people that are watching your video. So you gotta make sure that your videos are not, you know, overly long, or if they're long, they contain very, very useful information that people can actually subscribe to. For this next step right here, this one's optional, so I'm not including it as one of my eight crucial steps. For this one right here, you have to white balance. This is a topic that's a little tricky, so you have to be shooting in RAW with your camera to be able to, you know, white balance the footage, be able to edit most of the details within the video. You also want to add a LUT if, you know, you have a LUT at this point. A LUT is basically a lookup table, something that just makes your video looks pretty cool, gives it different vibes, you know, some are orange and teal, black and white, different vibes. Okay, for step number five, you want to add titles, transitions, effects, all that cool stuff. So this is where it gets fun. You've done all the edit, cut off all the extraneous parts. Now you got your composition. You got all the you know footage that you're going to have in the entire clip. So now you want to add effects and transitions at critical points. Do not overdo it. Do not overuse this. You don't even have to use any of these. Final Cut Pro comes with tons of effects, and you can also install, download, buy a bunch of them. There's there's just a lot more you know plugins out there that you can use. So let me know down in the comment section if you want to know more about this kind of stuff. So for step number six. You want to add whatever extras that you have. So for some people, that's music. For some people, that's an end screen. For some people, that's an intro. So it doesn't matter what it is. Make sure you add this around this point. At the sixth step, end screen is something you would add at the end of, for example, a YouTube video. So you might not need it for your IGTV video or whatever else video you're going to be using. So this step is partially optional. For step number seven, you want to make sure that everything is great. You want to watch through your entire footage the entire video at this point you want to see what it looks like so you give yourself uh, whatever the length of the video is whatever you know time it takes watch the full thing so you have no mistakes you have to do this every time I've had so many you know different times when I had you know a few plugins that I didn't want in there but were in there and they were there at the end that gets really frustrating so trust me just make sure you do a watch through for the final and the eighth step this one you need to follow to the T so you have to export at exactly the same resolution you know that you start the vid or that you edit the video in or you have to export at twice 
the resolution. So when you upload to social media like YouTube, Instagram and whatnot, when they compress that, you know, video, you don't want the image quality to be, you know, destroyed. You don't want the image quality to have been tampered with and that's what social media does. It compresses videos and images. So you want to export at twice the resolution. So if you're doing 1080 by 1080, you want to export at 2160 by 2160. But if it's too much for your PC or your system to handle, then just do it at the original resolution. You're still going to get away with it. But that's all I've got for you guys in this one right here. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to this channel right here. And if you enjoy content like this one, make sure to check out the video on the screen right now. And I will catch you guys in my next video. It's Midas and I am out.